in today's video, we are hiking Missing Link Mountain and it was a very interesting drive to get here. We just started the trail. We've never driven that side of Bragg Creek slash Kananaskis before, but it was a really, really beautiful drive. And I feel like there's not a crazy amount of people in this area, which is awesome. The trail is not well marked, but there's flags on like the trees. So it's been all right so far. This is gonna be a little short one for the Sunday and I'll see you guys in the next clip. She's right there, I can't deny the beauty before my eyes. I can't help but fall in line, cause there's truth in her lies. Once again, I've lost my way, chasing cars and wasting days. Am I here to pass your time? Cause all I see are blurred lines. Am I just chasing dreams? Is this not what it seems? Have I read between the lines? Those blurred lines, those blurred lines Is this real or am I chasing dreams? Is this real? Must be blind to think that I could steal her heart and change her mind. Fantasy, I realize that there's truth in her lies. Once again, I've lost my way, chasing cars and wasting days. Am I here to pass your time? Cause all I see are blurred lines. Am I just chasing dreams? Is this not what it seems? Have I read between the lines? Those blurred lines, those blurred lines Is this real or am I chasing dreams? Is this real or am I mountain and the view is amazing for such a short hike this view is so worth it so this I would classify as like an easy moderate hike it's nothing too crazy yeah, it it's easy moderate considering I made it <laughs> it's around 2.5 kilometers up here so it's nothing too crazy there's only like 300 meters of elevation so yeah the view is so beautiful. I know. <laughs> so we're about to head back down now. I would do this one again actually, would you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was pretty good. And I it wasn't busy at all. Like there's literally like one other group of people up here and then we passed two people coming down. This isn't a super popular trail which makes it really nice. So I will see you guys in the next clip. Clouds, skies, and countryside It all comes flooding back to me Watercolor 
hike review today I was supposed to film all day today but I literally got no sleep and I just didn't feel like doing my makeup or anything today to actually like sit down and film so yeah that's why I look like a mess right now but that's okay it took us a little bit less than two hours because it was so short it was only like three and a half kilometers so all trails I think said it was like four or something I don't know where the last 500 meters went but it was only three and a half that I clocked in at and so it took us longer to drive there than do the hike itself that's out of highway 40 with the sheep river and the sheep river provincial park sheep river falls and all that good stuff like that side of highway 40 is just really really nice and really really pretty so i don't go there often because most of the hikes i do are on the other side of highway 40 so i go through like the kananaskis like town and uh like stony dakota and stuff like that but this is on the opposite side of that highway we kind of drove like south like we were going to break creek and then we made a turn and it was on some weird back gravel roads and i was like where is this gps taking me right now but eventually I got onto the highway and the all trails map actually took me to the wrong place so thankfully Andy was with me because I am really am not good with directions I'm not good at reading maps so it took us actually to the river where people were kayaking and it was actually the turn before that onto Gorge Creek so if you are planning to do this trail just keep that in mind that the all trail map is not going to take you to the right place. So we did go back onto the highway and then onto Gorge Creek Trail and this is where that trail is. So this is very close to Mount Hoffman. I've heard my coworker did Mount Hoffman and Missing Link on the same day so you guys can do that as well. So I would definitely classify this hike as easy. It wasn't even moderate to me, it was super easy. There is some, you know, like steep-ish sections but based on how short the trail was, and the fact that there was no, like no scrambling involved it even its steep parts weren't that steep i would definitely classify this one as easy so if you have kids this would be a really good hike to take them on it had that really cool tree of bones in the beginning of the trail which was really cool this hike i would rate probably a six out of ten would i do it again yes it would be a good recovery hike the views were amazing for how short it was so yeah i did enjoy this one i know that it was andy's first hike of the year so i tried to take it a little bit easy on him since i'm used to taking him on these like adventures and he is not really into hiking that much so the hikes that i've taken him on before like sulfur mountain didn't go over very well and i want him to like hiking so i'm thinking that trails that are similar to these are kind of like what we're going to be going for when I hike with him. Actually, you know what? I'll finish it here because you know why? Today is not windy up here and 
very rarely I make it to a summit where there's not too much wind. So yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you guys soon. Bye. <laughs> this is why I don't hike with you. Bye.